It is now time for our church to respond with giving. This is one of two opportunities you will have this morning. The first one is our main church offering that will go to support our local church budget and other causes. Uh, you will note that the uh, song that uh, the chorale will be singing to us during the offering collection is Go, Tell It on the Mountain. The funds we collect this morning will assist with that. The second opportunity, the Lamb's Offering, after the children's story, that money is used to support Christian education. It's to support kids going to schools such as Glendale Adventist Academy and Elementary. So um, I would like to invite the deacons to wait upon us at this time, and uh, we will be blessed by the chorale yet again.
Special thanks to Sherry Hansen for directing that. She's the other half of the uh, Hansen duo that uh, leads much of the music at Glendale Adventist Academy. It's now time for our children's story. And coincidentally, we have Sinead DeWeber leading that this morning. And Sinead, I, I don't believe this is possible, but the bulletin says that she is a 20-year member of 1999. That is clearly a mistake. It must have, should have said 2009 or something, I'm sure. But uh, we'd like to invite the children up and uh, we'll turn the time over to Shanae. Good morning, how are you guys? We can scoot this way a little. We can scoot this way. Okay, now that Thanksgiving is over, how many of you have started counting down for Christmas? Yeah, how many of you have an advent calendar? You do? Okay, when I was a little girl way back in the day, a long time ago, there used to come in the mail, and it was called a Sears catalog. You guys have no idea what a catalog is, do you? <laughs> it used to be this really thick book that used to come from the Sears store, and it would have all sorts of stuff like shoes and clothes and toys and things for the home. We used to call it a wish book. It kind of looks like this Amazon catalog. It's got toys in it and games. Have you guys seen something like this? I know everything is online right now. You have one. And Target kind of has one. But it does not hold up to the Sears catalog. That thing was like this thick. Do you guys remember the wish book? Well, when I was a little girl, when we would get the Sears catalog, I would look through it and be like, oh, I like this dress or I like that toy, and I would fold the corner of the catalog like this, and then leave it, and maybe my mom and dad would see it and be like, oh, she wants that for Christmas, and maybe it would, you know, appear under my Christmas tree for my mom and dad. I have another book. This is the best catalog of all. This is not a wish book. This is a promise book. And God gave this to us with tons of promises. Is this the kind of book where we say, okay, Jesus, I'm going to ask for this and this and this and this and leave a little list inside, like a paper inside the book, and leave it open on the coffee table and be like, okay, God, this is all the things I want. No. This is a book full of promises, and God gives us what we need, because sometimes what we want is not always the best for us, right? Yeah. So he gives us what we need. Do we need food in our tummies? Yeah. Do we need clothes to keep us warm and dry when it's cold and rainy? Yeah. Do we need, a, yes, an umbrella, yeah. yeah. And do we need a roof over our heads so we have somewhere to sleep and live? Yeah, a house, yeah, a house to live in. <laughs> well, I want you guys to remember this very special book. Now that it's around Christmas time, let's remember that all the things we may ask for that we want, we don't necessarily need, okay? But we do need Christ in our lives, and we do need to thank him for all the things that he's already given us, like our family, okay? All right, let's have a quick word of prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the goodness that you've given us, Lord. We place our trust in you, and we thank you for the promise book that you give us, Lord. We thank you that you supply all our needs, and we ask you to help us find joy and peace and love in your promise book and in you. 
We thank you so much for listening to our heart's desires, Lord. This we ask in your name. Amen. Happy Sabbath. I'm going to be reading from Luke 1, 21, 1, 1 through 21. Many have, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Luke 2, 1 through 21. Okay. Um, in those days, Caesar Augustus, issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem to the town of David, because he belonged to the, the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was suspected a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She was given, for, she, was, she gave birth to her firstborn son. Um, she, was wrapped, she wrapped him in a cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living there out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. And, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that, that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah and the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the Lord had left them and got into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When he had seen him, they spread the word concerning what has been told about this child. And all, the, and all who heard it were amazed. But what the shepherds said to them, but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in his heart. The shepherd returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
Oh, God. 